What about states like New York that require 140 hours or training and 40 hours of live inspections? Can this be done through InterNACHI also? No, New York is just nuts. New York refuses to recognize any online training for individuals who want to become a home inspector and worse, who want to continue their education as a home inspector. No online is accepted in New York. It's unfortunate. I don't know why they pick on home inspectors. Other licensed professionals can do online training and also continuing education. Licensed real estate agents, for example. So um, what I would do is you got to do both. Just because you become a licensed home inspector in a regulated state doesn't mean you're going to be successful. You can, you can um, ask other folks if that's true. Because that license that you receive from the state means that you are the same as everybody else, which gives you a kind of an advantage if you're new. It really ticks off the veterans who have been a home inspector for 20 years, and they see new people coming in with the same license credential that the state has issued that they hold. It's making everyone equal. So what do you do? You attain a license, and then you have to get some kind of training in marketing. Then it's really a race in marketing. Who is the best communicator of the value that you provide as a home inspector? Because you do not want, here's your homework, look up commodity. A commodity is um, something that can be interchanged with everything else. It doesn't make a difference. You buy a watch here or a watch there, it really doesn't matter. Matter. They both tell time. Home inspector here, home inspector there, it really doesn't matter. They, they do about the same thing. You don't want to get into that. And that's kind of what happens when you attain a license. It's not the end all and be all. What you want to do is think of yourself as lined up with everybody in your market, whether you're licensed or, or certified or not. And then you try to figure out how to distinguish yourself from all the rest. So let's say there's 50 home inspectors in your market area. We're all lined up. Everyone lined up? Yep. Okay. Who writes reports while they inspect using a mobile device? Everyone step forward. Well, a lot of few people. Who provides a free home maintenance book at the end of the inspection for free for the oh, fewer people? Who provides a buyback guarantee? Oh, only a few people. Now you're starting to distinguish yourself, right? That license really didn't mean anything. That certification is way behind you. What you want to do is step away from everybody so far that you're the only inspector in the entire field. Then it's very easy for people to find you because the value that you bring is so great. It's overwhelming that you're the only one standing out in the entire crowd.